So, in April this year, a bit of crash happened between MTN Ghana and the government of Ghana. What brought about this friction was that MTN Ghana was running a very affordable internet data offer to its customers, which they named the MTN Zone Bundle. But the government told MTN to stop offering its customers this affordable internet data. The reason of the government was that MTN is the leading holder of the market share of mobile subscription in Ghana. In fact, according to Statista.com, MTN Ghana alone has about 63% of the market share of mobile subscription in Ghana. So the government did that to control the monopoly of MTN in the country. Well, MTN customers who were benefiting from this zone bundle were very, very angry at the government. But apart from the monopoly of MTN the government was trying to break, they were also planting something bigger for Ghanaians within the Ghana internet space. And this Ghanaian minister, who is responsible for communication, is here to break that news. The Ministry of Communications and Digitalization also recognizes the importance of equitable access to voice and data communications in today's interconnected world. Now I'm happy to announce, and you're the first to hear this, that building on this rural telephony project model, approval has just been granted for the establishment of a neutral shared infrastructure company delivering nationwide 4G and exclusive 5G services in Ghana by a consortium of existing network operators and private investors. I'm excited at the opportunity this will provide for scaling up access to affordable high-speed broadband internet services nationwide. I'm told that high-speed broadband um, connectivity is only available to about 10% of internet users in this country. With this, we're hoping to treble the access, high-speed broadband access across the country. That is not all. They are also going to extend their fiber optics infrastructure to other West African countries. Our commitment to technological advancement goes beyond our borders, as we believe in growing with the rest of the continent. And so we're building our fiber networks to our borders to enable easy connectivity to our neighboring. Wait, before Honorable continues, we would like to share with you a brief history of the internet in Ghana and the future of it. But before that, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now, let's dive into it. The internet was first introduced to Ghana in the early 1990s. In 1993, network computer systems registered the country's first domain name, gh.com. In 1995, Ghana became the second African country to have a full internet connectivity after South Africa. The early years of internet in Ghana were very slow. This is because the country's infrastructure was not yet developed enough to support the widespread of internet access. However, the situation began to improve in the early 2000s because the government invested in telecommunication infrastructure and the private sector also began to offer internet services. Today, internet access in Ghana is relatively widespread. According to a report, there are about 6.6 million social media users in Ghana as of January 2023. This 6.6 million people represent 19.5% of the country's total population, which is 30 million. And again, there were about 23 million internet users in Ghana at the start of 2023, with the country's internet penetration standing at 63.2%. But at the time this video was being recorded, internet penetration in Ghana has increased to 71.94%. This number is still expected to grow in the coming years. So the government continues to invest in infrastructure so that the private sector will also be able to offer affordable internet services to Ghanaians. Currently, the country's internet comes from five submarine operators, three mobile network operators, and four fiber operators. But now, they want to do more. And what they are doing this time around is that they are now spreading affordable internet nationwide. How are they doing this? Well, 
According to the Ghanaian Minister responsible for communication and digitalization, Honorable Esla Ousu Ekufu, approval has been given to consortium to build and maintain a nationwide fiber optic network that will be shared by all telecommunication operators in the country to set up a 4G and 5G network so that all operators can use it and extend it to about 80% of the Ghanaian population. They are also going to extend this fiber optics infrastructure to other West African countries. This will help service providers to extend their services to rural areas with affordable internet to Ghanaians and other West African countries. Let's hear this and more from Honorable Esla Ousu Ekufu. The Ministry of Communications and Digitalization also recognizes the importance of equitable access to voice and data communications in today's interconnected world and to narrow the rural-urban digital divide. We are undertaking the Ghana Rural Telephony and Digital Inclusion Project, which is a strategic initiative to provide connectivity to rural and remote areas of Ghana. It involves the government bearing the cost of deploying a network of 2016 telecommunications infrastructure, such as cell towers, base stations, and fiber optic cables to extend the network to approximately 4 million previously underserved and unserved communities and citizens in Ghana. So far, 1,010 sites have been deployed and the remaining 1,006 will be completed by the end of this year. In the finest example of public-private partnerships, the government is providing the infrastructure. While all network operators utilize this infrastructure, to provide services to their subscribers as a shared infrastructure. We're implementing national roaming on this network too. So regardless of your service provider, your device will pick up the strongest signal on the network wherever you are within its catchment area. This is a deliberate government policy to promote active and passive infrastructure sharing national roaming and tower co-location to reduce capital extent expenditure in the telecom sector, particularly in our rural areas, delivering competitively priced services to subscribers who otherwise would have remained unconnected. By facilitating connectivity to rural areas, we're enabling the local populations to access essential services, including health, education, agricultural guidance, e-government services and improved communication capabilities are also fostering economic development by facilitating e-commerce, digital entrepreneurship, and access to market information. Now I'm happy to announce, and you're the first to hear this, that building on this rural telephony project model, approval has just been granted for the establishment of a neutral shared infrastructure company delivering nationwide 4G and exclusive 5G services in Ghana by a consortium of existing network operators and private investors. I'm excited at the opportunity this will provide for scaling up access to affordable high-speed broadband internet services nationwide for all network operators, ISPs, mobile virtual network operators as well to either set up shop or expand their operations. I'm told that high-speed broadband um, connectivity is only available to about 10% of internet users in this country. With this, we're hoping to treble the access, high-speed broadband access across the country. Our commitment to technological advancement goes beyond our borders as we believe in growing with the rest of the continent. And so we're building our fiber networks to our borders to enable easy connectivity to our neighboring countries. So that is all for today's episode. Let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this inside the comment section below. My name is Sharif Haruna. Have an amazing life and see you in our next video. My crown. <laughs>